And shocking new evidence in the Calvin Harris murder trial being brought to light just a week before Harris's fourth trial is set to begin. Harris is accused of killing his wife Michelle back in 2001. WENY's Asia McKenzie spoke with Harris's lawyer today and has more on a potential new suspect. Asia. Renata Cal Harris's attorney Bruce Barquette says the man they are looking to present as a possible suspect is someone they've had on their radar for more than a year. Michelle Harris went missing back on September 11, 2001. Her estranged husband, Cal Harris, the center of her disappearance for 15 years, is charged with second-degree murder. Now, just one week before his fourth murder trial, his defense attorneys are presenting evidence that points to a possible new suspect and witness. Stacy Stewart, a man Michelle was allegedly sexually involved with, and his friend, Christopher Thomason. Part of the evidence we want to bring out is what Thomason has uh, told us and frankly told a number of other people that he saw Stewart out that night. And depending on which account you want to credit, either with Michelle or with a woman. According to court documents filed on Monday by attorney Bruce Barquette, Stewart and Thomason were said to have been at a bar with Michelle on September 11th. The documents also state a number of witnesses told the defense and state police both men talked about burning bloody clothing around September 12th, the day after Michelle disappeared, which led the defense to a burn pit at Stewart's former home in Lockwood. From there, we um, decided to actually dig up the, the pit, and we found uh, evidence that clothing was, in fact, burned in it. And, and it so happens that it matches at least the color scheme of what Michelle was supposedly wearing that night. What Michelle was supposedly wearing was her work uniform, which were khaki shorts and a navy blue golf shirt. What was also allegedly discovered on January 8th, 2016 in the burn pit was the blade of a knife, a clasp and latch of a woman's handbag, and a partial bra strap that the defense hopes to pull DNA from. I'm sure the prosecutor will argue that this is irrelevant, which is a mind-boggling position, if you ask me. I expect the court to permit the evidence, and we'll go forward and present it. Now, we called the Tioga County District Attorney's Office for comment, but did not reach anyone. And Barquette says the DA's office is expected to comment on the motion in one to two days, so we'll be looking out for that. In the studio, Asia McKenzie, WENY News.